Hello and welcome to Yokateki. My name is Marco. Today we're going to talk about Nixie tubes. Let's first have a closer look into this tube that I've taken from my Nixie clock. Also, please check the review of the clock in my previous video. It has 10 cathodes in the shapes of numerals 0 to 9. As you can see, the characters are behind each other and uh, they are a different depth. Numbers are not uh, placed in numerical sequence, but they are run so that cathodes in front don't obscure the, the lit cathode behind. The color of the cathode uh, glow is red-orange and, and it uh, lights up when you apply 170 volt DC on the pins. The tubes were manufactured from 1950s to 1990s by various companies around the world, mainly in Russia, Japan, Germany and US. And they were superseded in 1970s by LEDs and vacuum floors and displays, which are also interesting products, so please Google it. It is uh, quite difficult to find uh, old stocks at the moment, although some old Russian tubes are still available on eBay and a couple of websites uh, that I'm going to point you at and mention in the in the comments. Here are the Nixie tube types that are available to on eBay. Those are actual sizes. So the IN14 tube, which was part of the uh, Nixie clock that I showed you, is here. And you can see this is approximately actual physical size as the print, printed size on this paper. You, you can see here the cost, the average cost of each Nixie tube and size of the digit. Typical size of the digit is, is 18 millimeters. The biggest and the most beautiful, in my opinion, is IN18 and are very rare uh, with the digit size of 40 millimeters. IN14 is one of the cheapest and it, uh, this is the cost for six pieces on eBay. It is um, approximately 20 to 40 dollars and then it ranges up to 270 to 350 dollars for IN18. Uh, please have a look at Dalibor's website. Dalibor decided to not just to make uh, clocks but also to start manufacturing Nixie tubes. And yes, thanks to Dalibor, we can now buy new handmade high quality Nixie tubes. They come at $145 and they are resurrection of the awesome looking East German Z568M. The second product is called Naiwa Nixie Watch and that's the Kickstarter campaign that started at the beginning of this year with a goal of $8,000 but people pledged almost $140,000. So just recently watch was made ready for delivery. It uses two IN16 uh, old Russian tubes. And the last but not least is the website from Germany, nixikits.eu, where you can find uh, loads of different kits based on Nixie tubes. There are many, many very interesting products. I particularly like VU meter and spectrum analyzer. Thank you for watching Yoka Techie videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.